So here we have a very cool problem. We're going to look at the work done to empty a bucket. It's got a fluid density of delta kilograms per meter, so whatever fluid you want to empty, you can insert your delta there. And x and y we're going to let be in meters. The bucket's going to be created by revolving the graph of y equals ln of x around the y-axis. And let's make some bounds on that. How about y equals 0 and y equals 2. That'll make an interesting looking bucket because what's going on, we have our xy axes here. Graph of ln of x looks like this and then we're not starting till 0. And then if we revolve that around the x-axis, so here's our line at y equals 2, we can start to see the shape of our bucket. It's kind of a cool looking bucket. Now, we're going to look at the work done to empty this bucket. Well, we're not going to do anything different than we've done before. We are going to take a slice. So right there is my ith slice. So, we want to look at the work done to move that ith slice. Well, before we do that, let's just start with the volume of the ith slice. We'll start with that and we'll go from there. Well, that ith slice has the shape of a cylinder. So it's pi times the radius of the ith slice square, which we're still going to have to determine, times our thickness, which looks like it's going to be a delta y, right? Because it's up and down. Now the radius of the ith slice is from here to here. That distance is x sub i. Now, here's the issue. We have y equals ln of x. We need to get this, we need to get the inverse function. So we need the inverse of y equals ln of x. Here's our graph of y equals ln of x. Let's put that on there. Its inverse is x equals e to the y. So we have to find the inverse. We need this to be in terms of y. So the radius of the ith slice is x sub i, but in terms of y, it's e equals y to the i. Think of this as a way of translating between x and y. So we need the inverse. So when we go to look at, when we go to plug that in our volume for the ith slice, we get pi times the radius of the ith slice, which is e to the y sub i squared delta y. Just one quick step of simplification. Pi e to the 2y sub i delta y. Okay. Next, we want the force on the ith slice. So that force on the ith slice, well, we got the volume. Actually, before we do force, we have volume. This one, let's do mass first which we'll be able to turn into a force pretty quickly there afterwards, but mass of the ith slice is the density times the volume. Again, I'm just using delta for the density for right now. You can put in whatever density you want. So delta pi e to the 2 y sub i delta y. Next, we can go ahead and find the force of the ith slice. That's going to... Now this is a mass, we need to multiply by gravity. Delta G, V sub I. So delta G pi, E to the 2, Y sub I, delta Y. Okay, now we need to look at emptying this tank. So, this slice, let's use another color so you can see this a little bit better, needs to be moved to the top of the tank. So it needs to be moved from here to here. Well, we know from our axis to here is y sub i for that slice. So that makes this distance 2 minus y sub i. So that's going to be the distance we need to move to turn our force into the work on the ice slice. So we get delta g pi e to the 2 y sub i and then the distance it's getting moved that we saw is 2 
minus y sub i delta y. Finally, let's go ahead and compute the work on this. I'm going to pull these all out. They're all constants. Delta g pi e to the 2y times 2 minus y dy. Now, I'm going to go ahead and leave solving this integral to you. I just wanted you to see how it's set up, but some options for solving. You could distribute the e to the 2y, and the first integral will be pretty straightforward. The second integral will take one round of um, integration by parts. Uh, you could also use technology at this point. Oh, we didn't put in our limits. Let's put those in because those are important. Y is going to range from 0 to 2. We're doing over the slices of the fluid. So 0 to 2. And there's our definite integral for calculating work.